Well, 300 plus games for the Knicks and also represented New Zealand very proudly. Of course, his roots born in Australia, though. Andrew Durante joins us. And Jury, you're tired after that, mate? Yeah, I am. It was um, it was an early start, but definitely worth it. Um, pretty amazing uh, effort from from the Socceroos to to turn over Denmark. So yeah, pretty pretty special. And the whole country is probably uh, out still buzzing. Yeah, you're talking through. We just talked to Archie Thompson, and uh, and he just said, "Look, he just said this isn't going to subside for a while." Look, you can probably hear it in my voice too, mate, because you know that here in New Zealand, uh, you know, it's it's the, probably the only Australian sports team that we actually support, or I do anyway, is the Socceroos. <laughs> yeah, look, it's um, yeah, obviously the the Australian New Zealand rivalry is there in every code, but um, yeah, I don't know the Socceroos. Yeah, I think maybe because so many players play in the A League, and, and there's a lot of New Zealand players playing in the A League, maybe the affiliation is there, and, and maybe it's more uh, recognisable for, for Kiwi followers. But um, yeah, look, it's it's a big moment in 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 Australian sporting history, big moment for the A League as well. A lot of A League players um, representing the Socceroos over there on the world stage and, and performing admirably. Yeah, it's just, it's just this part of the world, the light being shone, shone on, you know, I think it's, you know, if we can't qualify, well, you know, when Australia qualified for 06, it was a big buzz because that was the first time since 82 that either of us had. So, yeah, I mean, sharing in that. How was that goal, mate? How good was that? Oh, it was, it was incredible. I, I, don't, I don't think anyone really would have thought that um, that was possible, that they could turn over Denmark. I mean, that that ranked 10th in the world and you know I think people believe that maybe a draw was possible you know if they if all the stars aligned but to, to go and win the game and that goal from Lecky that counter attack was just sublime and yeah he took his opportunity perfectly and then they defended so resoutly and you know they were just they were sensational you look at the results I mean after nine minutes scoring against France another cracking goal but you concede four then you've got to reset so to keep two consecutive clean sheets from that that to me is really impressive yeah, look, and I think the media were pretty quick to jump on on the back of the Socceroos after that four-one loss. I mean, they were playing France; they were, they, they're you know one of the best teams in the world, the reigning champions of, of the World Cup as well. You know, they got some of the biggest players uh, on the planet playing for them, and and I think everyone kind of um, you know probably thought the Socceroos should have done better, but realistically, it was such a, a big task for them to to try and get a result from France and. And then they showed um, what they could do against Tunisia. They were resolute. They were, you know, the, the, the Aussie spirit that everyone talks about. They were working so hard together and um, to win that game. And, and then the belief grew from that. They were like, you know what, if we if we can stick together and perform as a group like that, then, then yeah, we can get a result against Denmark. And it was lucky that they did get the win because the Tunisia game ended up, um, Tunisia beating France. So the, the win was a must. The draw wouldn't have been enough for the for the Socceroos, so it makes it even more special that um, that they actually won it. Let's talk about their Denmark side too, Jura, because this is a team, as you say, ranked 10th in the world. I think they won 10 games or something like that, and they're qualifying, you know, and, and, and they and they got, got to the semi-finals of the European Championships as well. This isn't no, this is no mugs, this team. No, I mean, sensational players, all playing in top-flight football around the world. Um, you know, obviously Ericsson's there, the, the famous um, player at Manchester United as well, so... Look, I actually thought before the tournament that they would be a dark horse and go deep into the tournament. That's how that's how highly I rated them. And you know, tenth in the world is is um, nothing to be uh, frowned upon. So yeah, look, but to get out of that group of France, Denmark, um, and and also Tunisia surprised me at actually how good they were. Um, you know, so it was it was a tough group. So to be on equal points with France as well, both on six points. Uh, and, and out of the group is, um, yeah, is is a, a massive, massive achievement. Getting out of the group, getting there and then getting out of the group. Did it in 2006, so it's a long time between drinks. Just, you know, just explain to people how, how difficult this is, how important this is. Yeah, it's oh, huge. You know, I think the last two World Cups that we've been to, um, you know, we've we've gotten there, which is great, and everyone was, was um, really proud that Australia qualified uh, again for the World Cups, but you know, never got out of the group, never won games in those last few World Cups. You know, so the performances were never there. Um, you know, and it was almost, I don't know, I felt like it was a token effort. All right, we made the World Cup, but when we get there, nothing really happens. So it's, you know, it's we're not really doing uh, amazing things when we get there. But now, after after these results, you know, winning back-to-back games for the first time ever um, for for an Australian team and. 
um, to, to get on six points and out of the group. And, and, you know, speaking, listening to the players' interviews after the game, and they're like, you know, they're talking about winning it. They, they're like, whoever's next, we're ready. We, we, we can take on anyone. And, um, you know, the belief is huge inside the squad at the moment.